buddy. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so today, Style Workshop, we are July 31st, last day of July, and last of our Style Workshop Dress Your Body Shape series. Oh. I know. I'm sad. I'm sad. I, I've had a lot of fun, and we at Shepherds, if you know us, you know that we love to talk body shape because it definitely is a pillar of where we stand on how to um, reinvent, how to rethink your style. At the end of the day, we want to make your shopping journey easy. And that, in a way, starts with knowing your body, your silhouette, its own unique proportions. So we often talk about body shape, and I think my model's going to come through here maybe <laughs> to come on to. Uh, we often talk about body shape. And the reason being, again, it's not about knowing your body shape. We work with six shapes. That's six. Okay. <laughs> but it's more important to know, again, your unique proportions. Where you, where you feel that are your more challenging areas, what you feel you want to celebrate on your silhouette. Well, we say celebrate the whole, whole entire silhouette. And balance it out with looks that go from head to toe that fit and flatter you and your shape okay so today we're talking about the hourglass so i will be this is why i'm wearing a pair of leggings and a tank so i am an hourglass um and we also have sandra who is an hourglass we're going to focus more so on lean hourglasses although they come in all sizes okay so you can have a size 2 hourglass a size 22 uh doesn't matter it's all about exact proportions with this shape when I first started with Shepherds in the Body Shape program, I didn't know what shape I was. I thought I was a pear, and you'll understand when I show you um, my physique at the moment, okay? So maybe, Kirsten, without further ado, and I want to thank you yes. for helping me today, creating the collection and helping yes. behind the scenes. Really teamwork here, so thank you. Yes, it is. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so without further ado, maybe we'll start by defining the shape. That's a good idea. Okay, and then yeah. we're going to talk about, you know, we're, we're going to give you some styling options, and it's a workshop, so we change the shoes, we change this, we change that. Okay? All right, so let's get started. I am um, <clears throat> five foot nine, and I'm um, just going to remove my shoes so you can really see my proportions. And so the hourglass is all about a waist. So her waist is indented eight to 10 inches smaller than her bust line and her hip line. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's really indented. And that's okay. why I wanted to go to a tank that's really quite shaped, very close to the body so you can really see here, okay? A lot of hourglasses have a shorter waist. So if you see, if I put my hand under my bust, you see how my, my natural waist is here. So how do you know where your natural waist is? You just kind of tip over and that's where, you know, you can feel it with your finger. I didn't know that. Right? That's where that's your, your waist is. So um, how do I differ from a pair? Because as you can see right here, I have saddlebags. Okay, so I have outer thigh bulge and I have inner thigh bulge and I'm sure that you can see that here so roundness roundness a lot of our glasses have a little bit of roundness here and there but because I'm short-waisted that is what makes me an hourglass and not a pair a pair would have a much longer waist right and therefore a shorter leg line okay and your waist is very tiny it's very tiny yeah so when I put weight put weight on now it does affect but I'm always still proportionate right what happens with time with the hourglass again if you do put a little bit of weight on you're going to develop a tummy but the tummy is going to start from the waist down oh so not up not up so an okay. apple shape, her, her midsection um, fullness would start from under the bust line typically. Okay. But you can really see how it starts here, right? right? You're going to, a lot of hourglasses have a little bit of extra bulges here and there. So even Primal, who you may know, mm -hmm. models for us is a lean hourglass. This is where she's got the little extras here. Right. That's where it accumulates. But then it stops here. Now, I myself have a flat bottom, so we're gonna be talking about flat bottoms. Today. Is that typical of an hourglass or no. a characteristic? No, typically she's a little more rounded in the okay. tush. Because she really is a curvy, curvy girl. Okay, but I happen to have, so I have a sway back here, 
but flatness here. So okay. we're going to look at ways to kind of break up, as I like to say, break up this expanse. Uh -huh. And then typically hourglasses have shaped legs and uh, typically a narrower, um, I always forget the part of this. Oh, your ankle. Thank you. <laughs> Sounds like, okay. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so this is me as, a, and I'm typically a size 10, 12. And um, I am going to bring in Sandra now and we will explain her shape too. So I'm going to get changed. So Kirsten and Sandra, if you want yes. to take it away. Okay. okay. So you can see that Sandra is five foot two mm -hmm. and she is an hourglass. So she also has that very uh, slim but shapely leg. Yes. Yes, like your leg ha does have some shape. And you've got the rounded hip. So you have a little more tushy than Elaine. Yes. In terms of shape. Right, Elaine? Yes. She she has right. a little more, but you can see on the back that mm -hmm. her 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 shape she's got. So the shoulder, Elaine, on an hourglass, is well, it a broader shoulder? Not necessarily. Sandra does has a broad appear, shoulder, right? Yeah. Um, so the hourglass for her again is the fact that her bust measurements and her um, her waist her waist are about ten inches of difference. Okay. okay. So you can see that. So turn sideways again, Sandra. So you could see Sandra is very lean and very tiny, and um, yeah, very lean actually. <laughs> so <laughs> you can see that, but she definitely has the stronger shoulder. But you could see that her waist does come in, and then she has the rounded hips, um, and then the larger, larger bust for you, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, bust, you mean? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you've got the difference between the bust, the yes. waist, and your hips. Yes. 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 I yeah. think I grow this one because I play a lot of golf and we don't okay. go into the gym. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that makes sense. Yeah. So if you swim, you play golf, you mm -hmm. do any upper uh, body workouts, yeah. you're going to um, enhance the weight on your shoulders, mm -hmm. your back, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Okay. So, yes. Yeah, so Lynn says she's more of a rounded petite hourglass. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, yeah, and Shelly, you can see Sandra, ha and that's why Sandra looks so beautiful in her clothes, because she does have that beautiful broad shoulders, and she's very easy to fit. Um, the hourglass, I do find uh, when I'm fitting the ladies, mm -hmm. the hourglass is the easiest one to fit, and Sandra's great because she's got the broad shoulders. Elaine is very tiny yeah. through the back so. um, and the yes. shoulders. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So we're going to start styling, and I bet if you look at me in this, you're going to say, she's not an hourglass. You look very square. Right? Yeah. Where did the waist go? There's no right. waist here. Right. So um, we're going we're gonna to look at that, but first off, I have to say, <laughs> this is my first time trying this new pant from Lisette. And we had it on Anne last week, who's a column, and I think that it is a marvelous, marvelous trouser absolutely exquisite trouser okay it has angled pockets here but as you can see it's not really defining my waistline no makes you look boxy very boxy okay yeah so but we're gonna look at um i'm gonna i'm gonna keep put it back on but all i want to do now so uh wanda you is mentioning that uh, she thinks Sandra is in a, maybe an inverted triangle. Sandra does have the broad shoulders, but it's with the hourglass, it's more about the waist. That's Sandra, right. if you actually were to measure Sandra, mm -hmm. her waist is much smaller than, than her bust. That's right. She does come across, you're absolutely right. Yeah. And this is where we always say as well, don't consider the body shape as all important consider the proportions okay so that that will make sense so now so here's the pant if i bring in this skirt from joseph Ripkoff, okay that has a high waist do you see the difference right there visually yep definitely okay. and i see this every time you put the skirt on mm -hmm. yeah so so one of the tricks of the trade here is that if you want to increase accentuate your waist 
um, and you're doing a white shirt like this, do something with a higher waistline right so away. In terms of this skirt, and mm -hmm. just because I see you and Teresa wearing it a lot, yes, you always pull it up much higher than Teresa does. Yes, I Teresa do. often wears her pants and her skirts lower on her yes. her waist, and you wear it high. So is that your trick for emphasizing your waist? Yes. Well, I think for me, it, I always feel because my waist is high, right? Yeah. It feels more comfortable, more okay. natural to wear it that way. It's like belts. I am prone um, naturally to wear them at my natural waistline. Okay. Okay. So I, I will put this pant back on, but I just wanted to show you now. So that's, okay. that's nice. And the nice thing about this skirt is that you can wear it higher or lower depending yes. what your body shape is, right? right. Exactly. Okay. So here we go. So now I've yep. changed the proportions as well. Yep. Um, I, I think a lot of women really benefit by visually lengthening their leg line. Yes. So that means, of course, that your upper body is going to look a little shorter. But I think that that's okay, okay? As opposed to, then if we do this, Look at the difference. Again, you've lost your waist. I've lost my waist. I've unproportioned, I feel, yes. my silhouette where it's like, okay, weird. Um, so this is, this is the dream right here, okay? This is working, you don't have a lot of these Foxcroft shirts, but they're really nice because mm -hmm. they stretch and they um, lengthen the neckline, I do feel, because they have, they're open here. They don't button up to the, and this is the, um, not the CC shirt. Kylie. The Kylie, thank you. The Kylie shirt. So that really makes a difference, okay? Uh, I also would like to go, I'm gonna go back to the pant real fast. Okay. So this Lisette pant, Kirsten, I mean, we were saying the texture of the this. The fabric is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's very, very designer. Um, Sandra, yes, the skirt would be a great skirt for a petite hourglass. Yes. Now, I'm going to do a faux peplum. And I'm oh. going to do, first off, I'm going to change the shoe on this because... Um, Uh, somebody five feet could, yes, could wear this skirt. If you felt it was too long, you could uh, hem it. Yes, absolutely. So okay. look at the shoe here. The heel. The heel. Okay, so you're seeing a lot of foot. In my opinion, personally, I feel that by putting this lower shoe on where you see less foot, I feel that elongates the leg line. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So there. Now... This shirt I love, but this often happens to our glasses. There's gaping right. here in the back. Because of the sway back. Right? Mm hmm So, pardon me. This is one way to work with this. And this is where, again, the hourglass can do these kind of cummerbund belts. But it doesn't have, this is my own belt. Okay. Can an inverted triangle wear the skirt? Um, we have shown it on inverted triangles, on Evelyn. for example, Evelyn and, and uh, Teresa and Linda. Yep. And they all wear it. So footwear will make the difference and the, the, your top will make the difference as well, okay? So here we go. So now I've shaped the shirt at the front and I've shaped it, pardon me, there's a little extra here. Yes, yeah, it's just at twisted. At the back. Okay, it's just twisted. Yeah. But now it really kind of accentuates my curves and from the side as well. I would prefer this shirt if it was black on this look. It's really quite contrasting, but we want to show you the shaping of this. It okay? looks beautiful. Thank you. Now, one more little tip here, the sleeve length. Do you see mm. how the sleeve is really cutting, uh, creating yes. this horizontal line? And um, Sandra will wear this shirt as well later. So we're just gonna do this. Now, where is the eye going? Right to your waist. Okay, so quick little tip there. That's a good tip. Okay, we're gonna get Sandra back. All right. So Sandra is in a boot cut jean. Is this and the petite? Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. So Sandra's in the boot cut and 
The boot cut is great for a girl with curves because it just kind of embraces over the hip line and then it, it's again a super, super long length of pant. It is made to fit and so whether you're a size 2 or a size 22 in this bootleg, it, it can really work. Sandra, because she's petite, is doing it with a turtleneck that's typically an underpinning. We've talked about that before from Spanner. However, um, she can do this nicely. The belt uh, is good, but we're going to add uh, a cardigan, right? Cardigan, yeah. And Sandra uh, always wears a belt. Eh? You know, whenever we're styling yes. up something, she's always looking for a belt. She does like to emphasize her waist, and it, it really does suit her nicely. And mm -hmm. we've just realized that this boot cut jean is great on you. Yes. Right? Since Absolutely. we got the petite in. So right away, we're getting away from accentuating the waist with this. Well, we're doing it a little bit with the help of the belt, but we're going to long lean lines with this cardigan from Charlie B, and that is quite doable. And I feel that the length of the boot cut on this jean just elongates the silhouette ever so much. So if you are a petite, as we would say for any body shape, don't be afraid of length. It's in all how you do it. So you, you know, we've done the two thirds on the cardigan, but then really kept the leg elongated with the, the boot cut here. So that's kind of nice. I'm just gonna go ahead, my little trick that I do, So do you see how it changes the proportions quite a bit? Shortens her leg. It shortens her leg, okay? So you want to maximize, when you're a petite, whatever shape you are, you really want to maximize your leg, and that is what this is doing, okay? It definitely makes her leg look long and very lean, and it makes her look taller overall, right, yes, Sandra? And you're exactly. five foot two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you so have another look on this? Yes, we're, okay. we have uh, two oh, more yes. looks on this, right? Yes. On that um, turtleneck. So, Sandra, you can go ahead, and I think we'll do the sneak peek. Oh, yes. Oh, heck. Yeah, yeah. So, what are we doing here, Sandra? So, this is from the Alashan. Um, yes. Okay. Topper. Topper. Top. Yes. So, I just do this as a um, scarf. Nice. Yeah, just to keep the color on this. You know, this is nice for fall. So that brightens it up all around your face. Yes. Yeah, it brings, brings my eye up now because I'm drawing my eyes drawn to the color. Mm -hmm. So is, Elaine, is that a nice tip too? Like if you had a tummy or something to draw the eye up to the face? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> my Poor Elaine, she's trying to do the show and change. And, uh. For measuring the bust, Elaine, do you measure, uh, for measuring the bust measurement, do you measure from the bust? The so bust. you measure across the middle? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I think with your bra on, because you'll be wearing your Absolutely, bra, it I makes agree. a difference, Yeah, right? big difference. Mm -hmm. Big difference. So Elaine, should I put this one? Yes, please. So this um, that she's wearing, is a little sneak peek for Friday. It's a vest that we have come in for Joseph Ribkoff that'll be styled up a bunch of different ways. Um, but Elaine needed a vest for the video. So yes. we wanted to just sneak peek it so you have something to look forward to. So um, I'm just showing in two ways. The first is just like this. And the second, I'm gonna put the belt. Yes, Sue, the, the, the waist has to be 8 to 13 inches. 8 to 10 inches. 8 to 10 inches less than your bust to be mm -hmm. an hourglass. Mm -hmm. So if you're 5 or 6, it's not... It's not necessarily. Okay. Yeah. And there's your belt again, emphasizing your waist. Yes. So you can see then it, it actually, again, her leg looks really long. Mm-hmm and it kind of makes her look very proportioned. And the, the, um, the vest has a very nice shaping, yes. that soft A-line, right? So if you repair, you could absolutely do this vest too. Yes. I'm sure we'll show that on Friday when we officially launch this. Yeah, so yes. ladies, don't go looking for the vest because it's right. not available. You only wanted to sneak peek it for this body shape. Right, okay. And um, maybe... Oh, you want me to put the, yeah. Yeah, did we do this with the, uh, with the vest? Yeah, and no. without the... Without the, so we have. Um, thank you very much. We have a lovely viewer who, who requested 
work, us working with a silk square scarf. Um, and she is a little bustier than Sandra, but Sandra is a whiz. So what you yeah. want to do often when you're tying a scarf is that you want to still define the bust so that the scarf doesn't overpower the bust line. Okay, so there are ways to do that. So Sandra is minimizing the scarf, creating a long oblong with this from mm -hmm. the square shape. Okay, mm-hmm. Um, Janet, all of Elaine's tips and suggestions and styling today could be for uh, an extreme hourglass. Absolutely, absolutely, yes. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Now, Sandra benefits from having a longer yes. neckline. Uh, but you're just, you're, if you're going to do a turtleneck, this kind of replaces the idea of a turtleneck, yes. so that's one way to do it. Do you want to do another quick way, maybe that same oblong shape and maybe just a long, okay? Yeah. Um, Elaine, uh, Mary Ann has an interesting question here. If my bust and waist are correct for an hourglass, what about the hips? My hips are a few inches bigger. Is right. that you? That's me. That's yeah, me at the moment. That's you, yeah. Yes. So right. that's still okay. You're still yes. an hourglass. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's so very then, pretty. That's very pretty. This is just another way for the viewer who mm -hmm. requested yes. uh, silk scarf tying. And, and I mean, the colors are really pretty together. Very. We're going to do um, one last one. look yep. on this jean on Sandra. And we're going to take a Ruana and we're going to shape it. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So the belt is here. The belt is there. Thank you. So I'm just adding the belt. Um, so almost like a kimono style, mm -hmm. if you will. The turtleneck here I think is important because it doesn't add any volume. The mm -hmm. color works within the confines of this nice. print, right? Yes. And what's your little style tip for the back of this? Um, you know what, if you put the belt all together, your hand cannot free. Okay, <laughs> yeah. well that's, that's, that's a great free. tip. Yeah. <laughs> and you'd yeah. also look a little more like a sack, I mean it would be yes. a lot of fabric tied into the belt. Yes. So just do the front, and again, Very nice. the boot cut, and I just want to say again, you, if, if you've seen me before, you know my love of boot cuts, but I'm going to do this again because I think it bears repeating. This is where the length of the pant, oh, not as, not as proportionate, right? No, her leg no. it shortens her leg. It shortens mm -hmm. the leg, so it is about that super long leg. Thank Mary you. Grace yes. said she needs a hat with this look, and a hat would be gorgeous Fedora. with it, like a navy felt hat. Beautiful a hat would be gorgeous. Do I look like an hourglass right now? No, I can't even see your waist. Okay, all right. Yeah. So sometimes. Um, with an hourglass, I mentioned the tummy, I mentioned the little extras here, mm -hmm. and all around, you know, they're all around. Um, so sometimes you don't always want to want or need to define the waist. Right. There are some days. I've where, seen you in this outfit. Exactly, right? Yeah, diff different color, but yes. Right? Yeah. So it's as simple as could be. So you could be an inverted triangle, this would work for you. This, by the way, is the easy cardigan or everyday, everyday cardigan, cardigan from Simply. And you'll notice how, again, it has a little bit of that same shaping as the vest, which is to say that it has a very soft A-line, a soft drape. It's just open here. So when you wear it monochromatically with a pant, and this one is from Spanner, the longer one from Spanner with the pockets, mm. it, it kind of really makes sense. I'm keeping it clean underneath it, so I'm keeping it very clean, but just a pop of color. Yeah. So I think this is a nice, simple look for everybody. You'll want the pant to fit. Um, I am very, very particular with pants, as you know. Yep, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I always look at the rise, because since I was like five or six, I've always had inner thigh bulge. Little extras, it's always been there, and a lot of hourglasses have that. So I'm, I, I, I want something nice and clean and, and simple there. I, right. You know, so I think that this achieves it, okay? It's very nice, just like that. It's nice, just like that. So we're gonna take, and we've shown you this cart, this um, turtleneck from um, Joseph for Cock before as well. Okay, so here's another little tip, I think, for the hourglass, or if you wanna change your proportions. So this is the top full length from the moment. So here I wanna elongate the leg line. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it definitely does. Okay. So it's, it's just an easy, easy little tip. And what I find as well, so the fullest part of me here is the lower hip, right? But what, from the moment I do this, I kind of give this almost like a mini, mini, mini peplum mm -hmm. feel, okay? So it's not as, and from the side, you can see here, from the side, if I do this, what I want to do is break this against the fullest part of my tummy. Okay. So that's what I'm doing there. And again, I, you know, I would work with the sleeve a little bit. Now, let's do hourglass shaping here. And, ooh. This is I, a nice jacket. Such a nice jacket. Don't you love fall, ladies? Don't you love fall? <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it today. It's like 22 or yes, something. Yes, it went really cold. Um, fall for fashion is amazing. Yes. Now, so you'll notice I've just lengthened my turtleneck again underneath it. Because, well, I could still do this, but you decide where you want to go with this. Okay. So this is a shaped jacket. It's ponte, which means that it's, um, it's double knit. But it's structured on the shoulder. It's very, very simple Armani-like, and again, very, very soft. In fact, a soft A-line. So we showed this jacket when we talked about the pear shape, because this is perfect for her. It's structured, fitted, and down. So it's really, really, really good, okay? Yeah, it's very nice. It's certainly a nice nip-in at the waist. Nice nip-in at the waist. If you will indulge me, I'm going to put the least, so I mentioned this is the spanner pant. I mentioned that this shoe has a nice, um, you're seeing now a lot of foot cleavage mm -hmm. here, right? You're seeing that with yeah. this pant. Because this pant is supposed to be like an ankle length pant. So I think the proportions here are really good, but if I may, if I may. <laughs> 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 Remember that Lisette pant, that yes. trouser that I mentioned? It's a little more straight-legged. Right. Yeah. A and little it. tiny bit fuller. This is a little bit of a slimmer pant. That's right. Elaine and wearing in the jacket. What size, Elaine, are you wearing in that jacket? I wear the size 8 in this jacket. Okay. Okay. Could you put a belt with the jacket? Hmm. Yes, yes you could. Like a nice big wide belt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It only has the one fastening here, which is really good for an hourglass. It's kind of where it should be, about right. two inches below okay. the bust line. So when you're looking for a blazer that's fitted or so on. So I wanted to show you the difference with this pant. In my opinion, yeah. I find now it's adding extra volume on the frame. Yeah. Yeah, right? I agree. It's a subtle difference. And I, when I try them together, I thought, hmm, I don't know, you know. I That's, prefer the other one if yeah. it has a slimmer look on the leg versus exactly. this. It's just, it's just a couple inches wider, but mm -hmm. it really changes longer. It's longer. So I think not it, as much foot. Not as much foot. I think it adds extra volume on the silhouette where you don't really need it. With the jacket. With the jacket, with this jacket. And I'm just quickly going to change into another jacket, one of our favorites. Uh, and yes, a petite Sandra can wear this blazer. We've put it in Fashion Fridays on all different bodies. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. But now... Better. It's better. Yeah, it's better. So this is the shaped blazer. Nice. You'll notice again that it really nips in at my natural waist, about two inches below my bust line. So there's definition here, yeah. which is great. The turtleneck again makes it happen, although a white shirt or a black shirt. We've, you've done this with a black shirt before. We did, we did it with the black um, Kylie. So, what, so now we've gone back to hourglass shaping. Very nice. Okay, so um, we're, we're showing you subtle differences here, but yeah. that can make the difference. And this is, I guess, what you want to look for when you're trying these things on. You want to get yourself in front of the mirror, try your different pants, see how they work for you. 
That's a good idea too, even in a change room, right? Yes. If you bring the piece in, bring two pants yes. and try exactly. them. I, I never think to do that because I hate trying things on. I always uh, just grab one pant, one top, and then it's like done. But yes. that's a really good tip. Thank you. All so right. The yeah. tank dress. Always, everybody. Always. Mm -hmm. And Sandra, you own this dress? Yes. Okay. What does it do for you in terms of shape? Wow, that's a that's really really good question. You know what? This dress acting is good for any kind of body shape, not yes. just only for our class because this dress kind of follow your shape, makes yeah. your shape slim. That's a very good point. It does yeah. follow your shape yeah. and it kind of hides everything below the mm -hmm. hips, mm -hmm. which is nice. It camouflages the tummy. If you have one, it hides um, it hides really all of your sins mm -hmm. and kind of just makes everybody look like an hourglass. Yes, and what I love is just the armpit is just right. Yes, you know? yes, and I put this on you a lot when yes. we're doing like Fashion Fridays. I yes. layer it on you with a shirt or a turtleneck or a jacket and we change it up to look dressy or casual. It's just that kind of dress that really is for everybody and can take you everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a wardrobe Wednesday for, I don't know, since the beginning. Mm -hmm. And one time we did a video, do you remember Sandra? And every person in the store wore the dress. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I, I told Elaine that this dress is very versatile. Yes. To everyone. So I, um, I don't want to push you to shop, but it's kind of a must to have in your wardrobe. Because yeah. Because you can dress up and down with this. It's going to travel with you. Yes. Teresa wore it five you times on a trip. You can wear underneath. Yeah. When the winter. Over and over. Yes. So I just put this one. Actually, it's a necklace. Yes. What I'm going to do is as a belt. So uh, Cheryl, this is the tank dress from Simply. Yes. Uh, I think the number is 2811 or something. So because this dress Very is so nice. simple, you just put everything simple. I like this with it. Yeah. So this mm -hmm. is the necklace from Escape from Paris. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And shall we do our little shrug, Sandra, as well? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Also from Simply, this is called the Clip Shrug, and we've actually clipped it at the back. Because <laughs> it's don't too find big. It. It's too yeah. big. So we want to do, again, the idea of a little shaped jacket. Okay. Well, you love these little shrugs. They've been yes. working really well yes. with everything. Um, so here, you know, even if, let's say, you're an inverted triangle or a pair, we have actually showed this on the pair for yes. similar reasons, because it really kind of showcases the waistline. Mm -hmm. It adds that, that piece. I mean, a sleeveless dress is amazing, the tank dress, but it's a basic, right? That, right. as we mentioned, you really right. want add versatility too. So this is a very simple, same kind of fabric. Maybe I'll ask you to walk up, Sandra, so they can see. And the necklace as a belt is really kind of fun. Mm -hmm. And now, are you going to change that into a necklace? For sure. Yeah. Elaine, do you wear a 12 in the tank dress? I do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I'm going to show you the details. So it's just this. open. You can do anything with it, yeah. right, Sandra? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Beautiful. It's nice to find jewelry like this that you can be creative with. Yes. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. That can I borrow your belt? Absolutely. <laughs> you can borrow my belt. Yes. Can yes. here. <laughs> the big belt? Yes. Okay. So, they're wearing this. I'm going to remove a little first. Yeah. Do you mind? But Not I'm going to. Thank Not you. Not at all. So, I, 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 I own this one also. I, I love it. So, this is a nice, big, wide belt. So, again, we don't sell this belt. We did. This was you this is do? from Shepherds yeah. from years ago. Yeah, um, I But, you know, you, you can find these kinds of belts. Or any, like, big, wide belt. This is nice with the leather jacket. Yes. Yes, and then if you put like a little leather jacket or a yes. jean jacket or something like that. Um, Marianne, all of the tips here are really how Elaine dresses. Um, so this is how she deals with her uh, narrower shoulders. So 
all of these tips kind of camouflage it and help mm -hmm. look balanced. Very nice belted, Sandra. Yes. Um, I think put the Elaine wanted me to wear Put the shrug also. back on? Yeah, yes. the shrug. I don't know. It's, mm -hmm. What do you think? It's very nice. Uh, it, the necklace looks amazing. Yes. Right. And it, it really, again, the shrug really completes the look. So we, as we mentioned, it's that little moto jacket yeah. um, look, true. you know, that would be great on this. Mm -hmm. You could also do, now this piece again is um, a little big on Sandra. Maybe should we remove Everything. the necklace? Maybe keep the belt. Keep uh, the Kathy, belt. we did have some wide belts earlier in the summer in black. Uh, with big black buckle on them, and they sold out. We weren't able to get any more, so mm -hmm. that's why we haven't had any. Well, that's pretty. I'm just going to, as a true friend, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to clip you. <laughs> that's what friends do. I, I'll follow that's you what friends are for. <laughs> wow. So, so wow. That's pretty beautiful. sharp. Pretty yes. sharp. And really accentuating the waist, which the hourglass can do. Mm -hmm. The pair too, with this big whip and of this belt skirt on this, and the skirt yeah. on this. Now imagine this. I love it with the booty. I do too. Right, and then imagine it with a, a, a tight, a black turtleneck underneath it, a white shirt underneath mm. it, a dicky. You know, so take Gorgeous. it from here and and go. Right. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. So now I am in the boot cut. Okay? Your favorite. So my favorite. So I did a size eight in this boot cut. And uh, because, okay, it's a little tight at the moment, I contend. But you know that these jeans from NYDJ, they expand to caress your curves. So you always want to buy them a little snuggy woony, and then they yeah. go. Okay. That's very, very true. Mm -hmm. Now you're seeing a lot of me, and when I mention my little extras, well, they're they're all over. Okay, here. but they're... let's be honest. So this this is for for the rest of us. This is an underpinning on Sandra. Exactly. It's okay. It's not. You wouldn't wear, never no. wear it like this. No, I I did want to do a monochromatic look. Yeah. So the idea of a navy um, turtleneck. Now, first off again, so I, as much as I love, 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 love this jean, I think we can make the footwear better. And so here's my little tip I think would be a good guideline. When you're wearing a shorter crop pant like an ankle length, that's when you want to show some skin on the foot. When okay. you're doing a longer pant like a boot cut or the Lisette one that I wore, the less of the foot that you see, the more the, the leg line right. will look elongated, okay? So, and that's for every body shape. Okay, that's a good tip then. Okay. So right away, I don't think we're looking down. Like, there's not that separation where we have the foot cleavage. It's just, it's gone now. No, my eye is just going top to bottom without a break. Okay, super duper. Okay, from here, um, what I wanted to do and follow me here. So here you see how it's, this is really, really tight. Now I'm going to add, I wanted to do a little um, short knit top or, so I thought I would do this. And again, I'm not really accentuating the waist here, but don't forget that the hourglass is about curves. So I do want to focus on these curves here because I think that the length of the leg line allows me to showcase a little more roundness here. Why not, right? So uh, Janice is asking, can someone with broad shoulders and a larger bust wear the clip jacket? Uh, sorry, large shoulders. So large and shoulders, larger bust. Um, I don't know about the clip right. jacket. I tried on last week, remember you and I were talking, and that little jacket from Joseph Ribkoff worked on me. And I mm -hmm. have very broad shoulders and a larger bust, and right. it worked perfectly. Right. So, so that would be okay. And the re because this is longer than the clip shrug, right? Exactly. If the clip shrug is, you, you know, you're, yeah. and it's, and then it falls open. It falls open. Yeah. Yeah. So you're better with a little more structure. So here we are. Now, what I've done is that I've color blocked my top.
Um, my, the, the part of me that is very fitted is the pant, not the top. And I'm going to borrow Sandra's belt. Thank you. And I'm just going to do, this is so great that these extend. Yes, isn't it? And like this is in width, this is so good. And now I'm going to just do a little peekaboo. Nice. With the top. Kind of like that. That's nice. Okay. And it's yet just a different way to accentuate a waist without always having to be so figure hugging at the waistline. Right. Okay. So there you go. I think that this, um, now this underpinning makes sense, right? And what I like about this, I mentioned a flat tush. We were going to talk about flat tushes. So this jean is great. Whatever pant, when they have a yoke, pockets that are nicely placed, um, I think will benefit a flat tush and mm -hmm. give it a little bit of dimension in the right way. So I, I do look more shapely now, you eh? do. at the back. Yeah, and I think you're right, it's the pocket. It's the pockets. So don't go for these big, long pockets at the bottom. I don't know who, who they work for. <laughs> 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 Certainly some people, but you know. Um, okay, so from here now, all I want to do is, and I'll give this back to you, thank you. I want to, oh, nice. Yeah. So I want to do a color story here, and I want to do some more scarf tying. And all that we have to do, this so is... Shelly's asking, is a 42 bust, 35 waist, and a 43 hip an hourglass? So she would have seven inch difference between here. Right. So not really, well, not right? Not really. Well... Could be? Could be. You'd have to see and You'd measure. have to see, you know, yeah. I mean, seven, why don't we give you that inch, okay? So let's say eight inches. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that inch. Sure, Shelly, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay, and also, where is your waist? Is oh, it, you're right, is the it short waist. Short or is it, or is it a longer, like a pair? True, so, Okay, true, that makes true. a difference. Okay, so here we go, as simple as that. This scarf is so good, it's right? So good. It's, I love the weight of it. Oh. It's like a plissé texture. It's like an accordion. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's lightly lustrous. Yeah. Softly lustrous, and um, the, the, the these colors together. So here we go. So again, I love it tied up like that. Yeah. I, I, and it's it doesn't so nice. feel bulky. No. No, that's the beauty. I of tried it. it as well. I was surprised how light and airy it felt. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I'm quickly going to remove this top. Imagine my turtleneck was just a little less fitted. <laughs> Let's imagine. Okay. Let's pretend. Because you know what? We're going to get some really nice uh, We've got a lot of turtlenecks coming. Thank God, because we love the turtleneck here. Well, you do. I do. I love Because I love layers. I uh -huh. love layers. So for me, it's... And I had bought the dress, the Gilmore dress, to wear with a cream turtleneck. And that's really pretty simple. Simple. Easy. And this is the drape, the beauty of this drape, right? Is that you can just do this. So so that's kind Pretty. of a, that'll work on, you know, a, a bustier girl as well, mm. whatever. You just want to drape that. That's and nice to wear over your winter coat too. Very nice. And then um, I just want to do the Sandra hat on. Yes. So this is your sneak peek, ladies. So Linda is 34, 26, 36. Very difficult to see what what shape you are because like elaine said it depends on the length of your waist um yes this, you definitely could be an hourglass with that mm -hmm. so here we are i so this is the same necklace that um sandra oh had that's on. nice boy this is a good necklace mm -hmm. snap this one up mm -hmm. a belt sandra had it like a big Choker. Choker. Wow. I'm doing my kind of best mod, you know, mod yeah. from the 70s. Yeah. I've always loved her look. Yes. So this is the, okay, voila. Very and nice. Sandra is back. Everything? 
Yes, wonderful. <laughs> I put everything out of there. She put everything <laughs> on, but that's good because we'll show you. We're going to show you different yes. looks. <laughs> this, this is one starting at the beginning and we'll remove it. <laughs> we are backward now. It's good to have an eager model. <laughs> that's right. The <laughs> one that comes prepared. <laughs> okay, so showcasing the waist in an interesting way, almost a little angled here. So this is our faux leather skirt from Joseph Ripkoff. So, and it's, it's faux leather and it's a faux wrap, okay, which is, we mentioned how good it is. Yes. Um, Carol, the, Elaine, the vest you're wearing, what size? The vest, I do a size 10 a, a size 10, but it's not available yet. Right. You have to wait till Friday. It's a sneak peek. It's a sneak peek. It's a sneak yeah. peek. So we're layering here, we talked about layering, but really coming back to the waistline. So similar as what you saw on me when I did the white shirt and the classic pencil skirt from Joseph Ripkoff, Sandra can do this again. And you, what you wanna do here, make sure you have some nice high undergarments so you can, you can put that blouse in really nice it's and good, tight. Good tip. Okay, so that, but the back of it though, what we've done, oh sorry, with the side here is that we've kept this blouson Mm -hmm. And then this is quite fitted, okay? So okay. that's a really interesting, it, it adds dimension where you want it. You don't need to pronounce that sway back all okay. that much, okay? So we've layered here, and we're gonna give you the Jenna Lyons tip for mm -hmm. the blouse. I'll ask you to come forward. Mm -hmm. Kirsten, tell us if you can see well yep. here. Okay, so we're gonna fold it. It's a really, really good fold. Then we're going to give it a second little fold here. That holds it in place, too. That holds it in place, yes, exactly. Ooh, that looks... Looks good. Looks good, eh? So what we've got here is a black skirt, a white shirt, and a black t-shirt. Okay, but we've made it really quite modern with the use of accessories. Consider that Sandra is a petite, and we're doing oversized accessories here that really make a statement, but we want to keep it modern. We could have done the little delicate pieces too, jewelry, right? Yeah. But this is quite special. So nothing we, wrong with a petite wearing some statement pieces. Don't be afraid of that, right? Don't be afraid of that. And the white here really brings, this is a gorgeous necklace. I believe it's um, Escape from Paris. And it's um, the pearls. Maybe you want to come closer. The importance of the brightness of accessories, it, it not only creates a statement by where it lies, like it's just perfection in the neckline here, but it really brightens the look of it all, as does the white shirt. It okay. does, and the bracelet's bad to me. Oh, yes. good, thank you very much. Okay. So shall we try now without the white shirt, Sandra? Yes. Yeah, it's a really interesting skirt. The, the big um, cummerbund belt that Elaine has uh, she bought that probably eight years ago when we yes. had it. So yes. we haven't had them since. It was from a very specific brand. Mm -hmm. I think I have one that's similar, but mine has a buckle on it. Right. Um, They're good. They're not for everyday use. Like no, I, it's with, I only wear it with certain things because it doesn't work with everything. Exactly. But you, 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 could, you. you could search those and find them. Yes. I've Most seen certainly. them yeah. occasionally. Mm -hmm. So yes, here. it's the blossom scarf that Elaine had on, Lori. Yes. So oh. what, actually, could we undo this, no. please? Yes. I wanted to, we're going to treat this sleeve um, two different ways, okay? So this is the Eileen Fisher t-shirt, and t -shirt, her t-shirts are fabulous. T-shirts can sometimes look a little masculine, although I do think this look is really quite special and sharp. So I'll ask you to move up and down, please, on the catwalk. Yes. Walk up and down. Uh, Lori, Elaine was wearing okay. royal purple on that scarf. Yeah, just okay. really up and down. Up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a good model walk. Okay. <laughs> Give us the model walk. Okay. It's nice with just the t-shirt. Yes. It's nice. It's very nice. Sandra can do this. This is, pardon me, Sandra, I just touched your boob there. It's yes. quite... It's not that kind of show, things. girls. Not that kind of show. So what you could do here, look at the difference from the moment that we do this. Mm. Softer, lighter, less dimension going yeah, out. Yeah, not as big. A little more feminine, right? On this. Can we change and the boot? Can we change the boot? I'll bring them over. Yes, All that's right. good. So we wanted to show you a classic pump with this. Okay, and we've done that. 
Thank you. Now we're going to do Sandra's own booty. But ladies, good news. This, I believe, is very similar to a booty that we will be getting from yes. Ara. Yes, I think it's the that techno fabric. What is that called again? Um, um, yes, you like a nylon. Yeah. Like a not. Uh, Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. Gore Gee, how that took a while to find that word. Good old Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. So what do you want to, so here all of a sudden Sandra's made this a little more blue zone. That's okay because yeah. the waist is still highlighted here. So that's good. What do you think now if you'll walk up and down again, Sandra, with the booty? Booty, or yes. with the shoe? Looks nice both ways. Right? Certainly, the booty does change the length of the leg. The more lengthening piece is the, is the, the shoe, right? Yeah, and yeah. The, but, okay. Now, let's treat the sleeve a little bit differently. And this you can do on a two. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the sleeve and you're going to place it under the bra strap. And um, just, yeah. So uh, Janice was saying uh, she's a little frustrated about the vest not being available. Oh. It will be available. Yes. And Elaine, um, this is a workshop, so she's trying to show you tips and tricks and things like that to make make this work so that um, exactly. you could go into your own wardrobe and pour, pull out your own vest. That's or right. Your own items, but she wants to give you the idea of what works and that's why she wanted to sneak peek this. And it is coming Friday, so, yes. and there's lots available. And you know, that's right. I mean, I couldn't resist, it, it, Kirsten was mad at me, she's just, what? I said, yeah, thank you. So but thank I you. understand because you know, it's important for you to show this as a working, as a, a workshop with lots of tips and tricks. Exactly. So what do you think now? This That's is more nice. of a style personality. Very okay. interesting you were able to create but, this. Yeah, with the Eileen Fisher t-shirt. And um, let's just remove the necklace so you can see. Because, I mean, the necklace really is a bold statement. We had, um, I would like, oh yes, let's try this necklace as well. So do you want to come up and show them the, the sleeve like that? I just that did that really quickly, but I've done it before and it will stay in place. I like, I mean, you've really created that. I, I was out on the weekend and I saw tons of that t-shirt. If you had a yes. shoulder pad, you could recreate this exactly yes. to that super modern t-shirt. Typically there, there yeah. is a shoulder pad yeah. in this, right? Exactly. It's a super modern look. Um, now imagine this with, um, Again, with a little moto jacket would be great. Be but very cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. This You've made this very edgy now. Yeah. yeah. And um, so now, maybe, uh, let's reintroduce the clip shrug, <laughs> which has been clipped. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so let's work now the sleeve. Right. Good. I, okay, so it's the idea really of a short shaped jacket, and this could be. Oh, I like that. So yeah, you, Lori, say if you're traveling, this would look like two completely different shirts. You're so right. Yes, it would. Mm -hmm. It would, right? So now the idea of the clip shrug again. So we're still this really big piece here acts as as my belt, right? Yeah, it yeah. really does. So then you've got the cropped on the really super long length. You decide on the foot where you want to do with this. There are options. You could do a wide leg pant with this too. Mm. Um, a, a wide leg crop pant if the skirt is not your jive. Uh, so that would be super as well. Sandra, can you come close? Um, Sandra would like to have a really close up mm -hmm. look of the shrug. So you can see it has just the simple waterfall lapel. Mm -hmm. Nice, very, very nice piece. Yes. Very versatile. Indeed. So, Eileen, what the yes, next thing you. is yours? Yes. Um, so, I think that what um, I will do, I will do a lemon wood, and uh, I'm doing this because we, this has been such a really good piece for us. Has it ever? Yes. So, if you have this piece, you may or may not have seen it belted before. Oh. This is the size medium in it. So again with the boot cut, but I could do that same spanner pant here, I think would be good I actually good like that. all this blue on blue. Looks really nice. It looks really nice. 
Okay. And we're just going to, um, I think I would do ideally a black belt or a, a navy belt or... Um, but Marianne is asking if a narrow shoulder is part of the hourglass. A narrowish shoulder could mm -hmm. be. Mm -hmm. okay. But it, consider that your sh you want your shoulder to be in proportion with your hip line. So when I mentioned that you could be a size 22, 24 and be an hourglass, you could have a little more fullness here, um, roundness on the shoulder and on the arm and still be an hourglass, but you'd, you'd have it balanced with a, a fuller hip line as well and an indented waist. Okay. Okay. So here's a little tip on how to belt these jackets. So it's just an edge to edge jacket. It's really beautiful by its simplicity. Mm -hmm. So what I would do is I would take one side, bring it in and then fold the other side over it. And what I do is I just kind of do this for some reason. So I have a little bit extra at, on top. Okay. And then I just... I like to do the belt um, off center for How some reason. How tight do you make that belt, Elaine? Do you like it tight? I, I like it tight. Okay. I like it tight. Because I, I, I want it to sit at the waist. So as an hourglass, you could just... Because you're not really adding a lot of a bulk because your waist is smaller is there another a, a pair could well a pair. Could a pair so who who could do this who should belt it is there anyone that right. shouldn't an, an apple. apple yes an apple if you if your fullest part is here yeah i wouldn't do a belt full tilt where you see it 360 right. degrees right but as we've often mentioned with marlene if you have a fuller midsection but if your bust protrudes over your midsection, you could do what we call the peekaboo. And do it that way. That way, and all you want to see nice too. is the buckle. Nice. And now, right, so if you're looking from the side, you won't see the midsection. The back is fine as well. Nice. So, so two ways so to wear it. So yeah, two ways to wear it, depending on your shape, right? And we're going to finish with a little bit of ruching. Wow, wow. Okay, so this is um, a jumpsuit that actually Natalie wore yes. as an inverted triangle. Very, very busty silhouette on Natalie. Not so much on Sandra. Teresa wore this before as well, who doesn't have much of a waist. But it's, you would let the ruching do the talking here. Mm -hmm. So the ruching, so you'll notice how you want the bust line to be defined. The ruching starts below that over the midsection so if you do have a tummy typically and then this is really nice this geometric shape which it interestingly elongates you know as opposed to like a big button would, right would right. act differently to this right and then we had we mentioned the wide leg pant on this what did we say we could do with the wide leg pant with the yeah so um you could still do a little jacket you could do a clip shrug um, with this, consider the shape. We'll just do this. Mm -hmm. So I know the fabrics may not be ideal together, but it's the idea of right. pulling in. A little tuxedo jacket would be cute. Exactly. With this kind of wide leg mm -hmm. pant. Yeah. Okay. And I'll ask you, maybe we'll remove this, walk up and down. Walk the runway, Sandra. <laughs> yes, thank you. Let's rock it. Let's rock it. Okay. The pump, et voila. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Sandra, I want to thank you so much. And ladies, thank you so much. This puts an end to our Body Shape series yes. on Style Workshop. And so... We hope that it's been informative, that it's been fun. We had such a great time putting um, all of the looks together and the style tips. So we will continue with this. We have a blog on our website. We have videos as well that are on YouTube on Body Shape. So we invite you to take a look at those. And you can shop the collection today in our style workshop at Shepherd's Fashions online. What do we have tomorrow? Tomorrow we have new colors in that beautiful silk and new blouse that we had before. All brand new colors. One that we've never ever had before. Oh wow. Yeah, really gorgeous and uh, one Ruana that kind of ties it all together. So very beautiful little collection. Fantastic. Yes. Okay, well wishing you a great end of July and start August tomorrow. Yeah. It's first tomorrow. Okay, ciao for now.